Here is a small mini book that I made. There are place for pictures, some tags. They can do with it what they like. To prevent the mini book from falling, I attached a small belly band. Second page, again, my homemade box pleated trim. Some soft peachy trim. Uh, this butterfly is made from a satin. <laughs> Following a tutorial, I think it's Kelly's tutorial. And the po there's a pocket behind. And behind this pocket are some tags. Here is a old-fashioned postcard here's a double tag with the transparency the lady from the paper line by the way I forgot to mention the paper line that I use is a paper line from Pion Design mostly the collection Alma's sewing room and each side there are big photo mats some stamping on the back next page is kept simple made a band with some lace and transparency you can there's space for a picture over here some prima bling in the corner big large photo mats small altered dress form some feathers. Now the next page. This is a fully functional frame. You can remove this, use this as a template and place a picture behind. It's a homemade butterfly. You can open it this way. There's a photo mat over here, a photo mat here, and there's space for journaling over here. But it also opens with a magnet over here. And then there's space for a picture here, photo mat here, and journaling spots over here. Once again, topped with some nice fine lace trims. And the bottom, my homemade box pleated trim from Organza. Next page. This is my, actually one of my favorites. This is dress form from the paper line covered with glossy accents. Prima bling. Lace flower. A butterfly made from the same flower with some bling in the middle. This is a slider card. There's space for photos over here and over here. You close it and you can open it again. And there's again space for a photo mat over here. Journaling spot. This was stamped and embossed. Here again, you can see my homemade bead spray with a homemade flower. Box pleated trim with rosette trim, bling in the middle. Now there's a small tag here. Oops, and it came loose. Some journaling, did some stamping on the back again. It opens this way. And it opens this way with a magnet. And there's room for a large photo mat over here and on top there is again space for a photo mat here and stamped in the back a butterfly from Mariana design and as you can see it was embossed Let's 
go to the next page. We have a sim quite simple page over here. Tiny butterfly from the paper line. Lace trim and bling on the bottom. Fold it over the corner of the paper and place this tiny homemade flower. This one opens. I used the Martha Stewart punch. I punched a square in the corner. A butterfly that I bought. A tiny lace flower. And again, the box pleated trim with some flower lace and bling. And here, there's a transparency pocket, two layers of lace. A flower with a homemade flower center and uh, I used some homemade stickles and distressed the flower with vintage photo and there's space for three large photo mats behind and some journaling spots there's a rub on that I had still in the collection. The corners were punched with the Martha Stewart punch. And the one large one was stamped with a ch chandelier in the back and embossed. Okay, next page is homemade flower. This flower center was made following a tutorial from Fiona. This is a stick pin that can be removed. And here you can remove this photo mat. And once again, here is a space on this paper doily for another photo. This is a dress form. You can tuck it this behind like that. And you can place a stick pin to hold the photo mat. A metal corner. And again a large photo mat with some embossing, journaling embossing on the back. Here's another page. Simple page pocket with some photo mats, journaling, tiny tags behind the butterfly. And a little booklet. These are all tags that are included in the paper line of Peon. Tiny envelope. With a little card in and these are butterflies from the collection fuzzy cat from the paper lace trim okay next page is an envelope that I made it opens like this and inside again there are two photo mats all the papers were everything was distressed with vintage photo and mild lavender distress inked closes up like this let's put it down it will go easier Once again, use the Mariana Design butterfly stamp. And here I altered again a dress form from Tim Holtz that was stamped with a script stamp. Created a skirt with box pleated trim. Butterfly. And bling in the center. This is a quite simple page, just a flip book. Plenty of space for photos. This one opens 
with a magnet. There's a pocket over here with some bingo cards. Photo mat. Photo mat here. Space for journaling over here. Large photo mat, some stamping in the back. This one always goes harder than the rest. I'll do that later. Here, once again, simple page hand crocheted flower, pearl center, some prima bling, birds fuzzy cut from the paper line. And once again, space for photos and journaling. And for the last page, I lost a little bit of inspiration until I saw Linda from Live Art Now fan page. And I thought, that is it. That's a nice final page. Underneath the fan, there's space. It opens this way. And you have on magnet holders. A pocket it opens this way it's place for the photo tags photos and it also opens this way once again plenty of space for photos and this is a pocket okay I hope you like my mini it was my first one it became a little bit chunky because I wanted to put a lot of Space for photos inside. People, thank you for watching. Bye.